Sometimes that's something we overlook in life is we get so busy as Americans that we forget the peace of God. And you know, the peace of God is what calms us when we're going through storms, no matter what you're going through. If you can grab hold of the peace that Christ gives. Christ said, I give you peace. And in this world, you're going to have tribulation. You know, that's a promise he said. You're going to have tribulation. I don't know about you guys, but it seems like it's always a battle, always something that you're dealing with, whether it's finances, whether it's a relationship, whether it's whatever the case may be. There's tribulation in this world, but God said that he gives us peace. And that peace calms storms and I want you just to take a moment and just be thankful for the things that you do have be thankful for your fingers be thankful for the, for your breath you know there's so many things to be thankful for be thankful that you're in the top 20 percent of the world's wealthiest people now think about that 80 percent of the world lives on ten dollars or less a day now I know that unless I'm just talking to someone overseas in the third world countries, most people that this watching this video, you're rich and you don't even realize it. But we might not be Bill Gates rich, but we're rich compared to 80% of the rest of the world. So be thankful for the things that you have and enjoy the peace of God. Be thankful for your family. Be thankful for your friends that you got somebody that you can talk to. And if you're not going to church, find a church that you can plug into. You know, there's always going to be disagreements. There's always going to be offenses. Uh, you know, we're all recovering hypocrites as my good friend Vaughn Clark always says, and I always like that. Just come to church. Be involved. You're needed. God's got a purpose for you. You're not supposed to be out there by yourself. You're supposed to be together, uh, assembling together yourselves for edifying, for building yourself up. And I want to encourage you to that today. Just be, be thankful, first of all. And, and have the peace of God take over your life. And it, it's going to be all right. No matter what you're going through, it's going to be all right. You're going to make it. And, uh, you know, God said that we're going to overcome this world. And so just overcome with the blood of Christ and with the word of your testimony. So testify to God's goodness and his glory. Read the Psalms and see what all David testified about when he was going through all the hell on earth he was going through. And you'll be blessed because of it. This is Mike Stroud. Visit me at MikeStroud.ws and give me a call. You know, I'll be glad to pray with you or anything. God bless you. Have a great day.